I V M. Hello and welcome to the Habit Coach Podcast, the bite-sized podcast filled with quick and easy, actionable habits. Remember, great habits create that awesome life. I am Ashton Doctor, your Habit Coach, and today's fun fact of the day has to do with a property in Manhattan. Did you know that there was a property in Manhattan that was once owned by five different countries? This twenty thousand square foot home was modeled after the castles of Versailles. and it was bought by the republic of yugoslavia as their new york embassy in 1946 but then the republic dissolved into separate countries and hence five countries ended up owning this gorgeous embassy and this happened in 1992 and these five countries were bosnia croatia macedonia serbia and slovenia which then settled the ownership of the embassy by selling it in 2018 and i can't even begin to imagine how complicated that deal must have been not only are so many different parties involved but how do you pay a country in different currencies and we have similar issues at a smaller scale here in india too in fact it is very common where siblings shout out about property ownership and have fights amongst each other today's podcast is a different kind of ownership it talks about something completely different but ownership nonetheless It is an idea that comes from the Stoic philosophers, and it is a habit that is used to get out of this victim mentality that we often find ourselves in. And you know that blame game, the lack of control we feel in our lives. So let's first understand what victim mentality is. This is that feeling that the world is against you, that things are not happening your way, that only bad things keep happening to you. People with victim mentality look at life and think. that they are helpless and they keep saying what could i do about it sounds familiar now the key here is that a person like this does not take responsibility for the things that are taking place around them they hold feelings of resentment towards life they are constantly bitter towards the world around them and being around people like this is no fun because you will get blamed for everything that is taking place another common thought process for people like this is what did i do to deserve something like this you know everything's unfair what did i do to deserve this and the feeling that the world owes you something that you are not getting what you deserve remember the world owes you nothing but the aspect of these people that troubles me the most is that they will grumble and complain about their problems but if you offer them a solution a solution to that problem they will have a longer list of why it is not possible why it won't work and for every solution that you give them they will have five more problems and as your habit coach i want you to never be stuck in this trap of being a victim a helpless victim and this is where the idea behind today's habit comes from the stoics believed in something that i called radical ownership and this is the belief that you are in control of everything that is happening everywhere in the world if there is a war happening between those five countries at the opposite end of the globe you are still in control of that the belief that you are in control makes you the owner of what is happening around you you can no longer play the victim because now you are the owner of that problem you are responsible to those problems and as the owner of a problem you have two choices choose to do something about it or not choose to do something about it by thinking in this way you can change your ideas and your thinking path completely you no longer feel like you do not have control and the reason why i say radical is because you feel you have ownership of everything and hence if something is happening somewhere else in the world and it affects you you have a choice to do something about it for example you could choose to protest the war taking place at the other end of the world right you can start on small protest wherever you are or you can choose to make better choices with regards to plastics that you use instead of just grumbling you can choose to do something about it if the war is of no concern to you you can choose not to do anything about it you can choose not to worry about plastics and instead focus on something else you see it is a choice and if someone is being mean to you or causing problems for you you can choose to fight back you can choose to punch them you can choose to call the cops or you can choose to do nothing with radical ownership the choice is always yours So your super simple habit starts by realizing that everything you do is a choice that you are in control of everything that is taking place in the world around you 
नो लॉन्गर कैन यू ब्लेम एनी वन एल्स फॉर एनी थिंग एवरी थिंग इज योर चॉइस एंड वेन यू बिगिन टू थिंक लाइक दिस दैट विक्टिम इन साइड यू डिसअपियर्स बिकॉज नाउ यू आर इन कंट्रोल यू आर रिस्पॉन्सिबल Usually in a podcast it's me who speaks to you and you who listens but i've been seeing your comments and it's time it's me listening to you following the overwhelming success of this podcast the good folks at ivm podcast network have decided to come up with a kannada adaptation of the show for those who prefer listening to it in that language do make sure you let your kannada speaking friends know about this as well so start these habits and share with us your progress using the hashtag the habit coach if you like this podcast don't forget to check out other interesting podcasts on the ivm network you can listen to us on the ivm podcast app or ivmpodcast.com you can also follow us on social media we are at ivm podcasts on twitter and instagram if you want to reach out to me i am ashdin doc on twitter and instagram you can find lots more information on my website awesome180.com or check out different content on my youtube channel called a w e s o m e 180 that's awesome180 hey everybody it's been another great week on the ivm podcast network on cyrus says film producer sadhat roy kapoor joins cyrus to talk about his latest web series rocket boys On Shunya once she lived there and I meet Aditya Sharma he's the co-founder at the Soul Store we talked to him about how the popular brand came to be and what their journey has been like on a show about crypto Rohan talks to Rahul Sanghi co-founder at Tiger Feathers they explore web 3.0 and its advantages and disadvantages on postcards from nowhere it's a weaves a fascinating story that connects Gujaratis Uganda and the last king of Scotland and on Hans Fani we hear the story Bhut ka kalakar it explores the conflict between art and its artists Do follow us on social media where IVM podcast on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram and LinkedIn. Also please do tell a friend it really does help us when you spread the word about our podcast and I'd also like to ask you if you could rate or recommend wherever you listen to our podcast. And speaking of where you listen to the show if you're on an Android phone do check out our new Android app. We have a brand new app with a brand new listening experience. Definitely check it out. I think you will enjoy it. And finally we'd like to thank our sponsors this week Bank of Baroda and Coin Such cool bear. Thank you so much for making this possible. Have you ever wondered where the business world is headed? How the ways in which we create, market and sell to consumers will evolve or if we'll ever go back to wearing pants while working? For answers to all of this and more, tune into Advertising is Dead with me, Varun Dogirala. Every Tuesday, as I talk to entrepreneurs, leaders and change makers from across business, media, marketing and beyond, you can catch all episodes of Advertising is Dead on the IBM Podcast website, app or wherever you get your podcasts from. Hold up. 